from severe mental health problems to heart attacks or even brain damage, the dangers of cocaine use are real. Some of you might have used it before, or maybe you have always been wanting to using it. This might seem a fun and thrilling experience, but know that each snort can have a devastating impact on your health and your life. Those of you that have watched my channel before know that I'm a huge proponent of increasing the medical knowledge of you, my viewer. And the same is true for illicit drugs, because you need to know what you get yourself into. You need to know the risks so you can make an educated decision. In today's video, we will focus on cocaine. We will cover its origin, its effects, potential long-term effects, the symptoms of an overdose, and much, much more. So make sure you watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. Let's get learning. So very quickly, let's recap the origin of cocaine. It all starts with the indigenous people of South America, who have been chewing the cocaine plant for thousands of years. Then came the Spanish conquistadors to South America, which took the cocaine plant and spread it all over Europe and through Europe all over the world. If we fast forward to the 19th century, scientists were finally able to extract cocaine out of the cocaine plant leaves. And it was thought that this cocaine had medical properties and it could almost cure anything. Of course, this wasn't true, but they thought that at this time. Now, finally, we arrive in the 20th century, where cocaine starts to be used not as medicine, but as a recreation of drugs. And it gets several names like cocaine, low, crack. Since then, the statistics of cocaine use have been staggering. In the United States alone, about 14% of all adults has tried it at one point in his or her life. And about 8% of all adult males ranging from age 18 to 25 has tried it in the last 12 months. Now, cocaine as a drug can be used by snorting it, applying it topically in the mouth, by injecting it in the vein, or by smoking it as crack. Its effect is often immediate and it usually wears off in half an hour to about two hours after use, depending on the amount you take and how you take it. Now, cocaine works by stimulating the reward pathways in our brains. These are deep areas of our brain, which also get active when we're doing enjoyable and rewarding activities, like eating a delicious meal, playing an engaging video game, or when we're having sex. It works by blocking the reabsorption of dopamine, serotonin, and noradrenaline. This creates a higher concentration of those neurotransmitters in the reward pathways of our brains. And this leads to the positive effects which people associate with the high of cocaine use. Among others, it can lead to an increased alertness, euphoria, increased energy, increased feelings of competence, and increased sexual arousal or libido. On the other end though, but also very important, the usage of cocaine can also cause several negative effects. Among others, a depression after a binge crash cycle, anxiety, mood swings, delusions, hallucinations, paranoia, restlessness, an increase in risky behavior, violent behavior, a fast heart rate, high blood pressure, dilated pupils, damage to your nasal passage, loss of smell, difficulty swallowing, a chronic runny nose, and a constriction of the blood vessels supplying blood to your heart and brain. Here, it is also very important to know that long-term cocaine usage can cause severe health complaints, depending on how you use it, how often you use it, and your genetic predisposition, it can lead to a heart attack, cardiac arrhythmias, stroke, seizure, permanent damage to your lungs, perforation of your nasal cavities, an ulcer, perforation of your stomach and intestines, rhabdomyolysis, which is a condition where muscle tissue is rapidly broken down, a decreased libido, and ultimately there's a high chance on death. And for those of you that start to worry now, am I using too much cocaine? Am I at risk? Well, know that you can always reconsider your cocaine usage, and now is the perfect time to do. Please consider to stop using it and discuss this with your personal doctor. Here it is important to know that if you use cocaine over a long period of time, it can lead to physical as well as psychological dependence or addiction. If you stop using cocaine at that point, you will develop withdrawal symptoms. And these withdrawal symptoms may cause someone to keep using cocaine because they want to stop, but they also want to prevent those annoying withdrawal symptoms. And remember, they can be very hard, very annoying, but they often cause medical emergencies. So you can quit. Withdrawal symptoms may include exhaustion, fatigue, anhedonia, 
which is the inability to feel pleasure, a decreased concentration, depression, anxiety, irritability, craving for cocaine, pain, tremors, shakiness, and chills. One last very important topic to discuss are the symptoms of a potential overdose. You need to be able to recognize these so you can act properly and call 911. An overdose of cocaine may lead to a seizure, loss of awareness, loss of urine control, a high body temperature, severe sweating, a high blood pressure, a very fast heart rate, bluish color of the skin, fast breathing, and ultimately death. When you contacted your doctor, he or she will monitor the vital signs of the patient. This may include your heart rate, breathing rate, blood pressure, and so on. If necessary, your doctor will start breathing support, including oxygen, IV fluids and medication to treat symptoms such as pain, anxiety, agitation, nausea, seizures and high blood pressure. Now I hope this video made the dangers of cocaine use clear to you and I hope you use this information to make educated decisions for yourself. If you can't get enough, check out the Instagram, TikTok and Facebook channel. Check out the playlist in the description. If you did learn something, please click the like and subscribe button. This will help out the channel tremendously and in return you will get notified each week with a new awesome video. Thank you so much, stay healthy, and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye-bye.